Yabba dabba do, it's your boy Big Snoop Dogg and you're watching No I Watch Video Vault And you know what channel you on, you bet you, you bet not change the diesel my nizzle Church Nightwatch See that? Takes concentration to put together a blunt. You getting that? You getting that Norwalk? Snoop Dogg rolling the blunt on your show? Oh, yeah. In record time. Right, you got your box. 30 seconds or less. Now I got to put it in the microwave for 11 seconds so I can trap all the ingredients. Waiting here for Snoop Doggy Dog in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, and you're watching Nardwar's Video Vault. Now we can interview. Check, check, check. My check one, two. Who are you? Snoop D.O. Double G. Snoop, welcome to Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Thank you for having me, Nard Wars. It's a pleasure and a treat to be here again with you. Snoop Doggy Dog, it's amazing. I've been interviewing you for 10 years now. Do you remember the first time I talked to you on the set of the movie Bones in 2000? 10 years! Mm, I do remember that. This is where I shot Bones at in Vancouver. And here we are 10 years later at the Middle Alton Hotel. In Vancouver, B.C. In Vancouver, B.C., Canada. And people really have enjoyed our interviews over the years. Do you know that, Snoop? Yeah, because they've been rather different, you know what I'm saying? Because most guys who interview me don't have as much personality as you, don't have as much, you know, courageousness. You know, you courageous and you got a lot of personality, so it brings the best out of me and you at the same time. Well, thank you for the kind words, Snoop Dogg. And I want to say our interviews have inspired people. Check out this cartoonist Mitch Clem drew this drawing of me, and look who's in the corner. Oh, no. Big Snoop Dogg. I like that. He got James Brown on the bottom, too, huh? And Tommy Chong. Wow. What a combination. And Nardwar the Human Serviette right in the middle. And you're bigger than everybody else. Well, uh, to a lot of people, I am now, because check it out. Turn this over and look also what Mitch Clem drew. Nardward, the Canuck. Nardward, the Canuck. So you're a Vancouver Canuck. I am Nardwar the Canuck from Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. I was wondering, Snoop, when is the interview going to happen at your house? I've been trying to set this up for three years because you kindly said the last time I talked to you, I could interview you at your house. You are more than welcome to come to my house. You just got to get a ticket and come see me. Get at my partner. He'll let you know how to get through the you know, door. Once you get through the door, you get past the dogs, you get past the dogs, and you get to me. Because I have been trying to set it up for three years. I haven't had too much luck. Well, I'm going to make that happen for you, OG, because, you know, I got love for you in that jacket you're wearing right now. Thank you so much, Snoop Doggy Dog. Snoop Dogg, speaking of wearing stuff and jerseys and stuff, I saw that you were wearing a Maple Leafs hockey jersey in 1993 on Arsenio Hall. Yeah, because the Maple Leafs reminded me of a chronic leaf, so... I was representing that, you know what I'm saying? I didn't know that the Canada flag was so close to the chronic leaf. I just liked the way it looked, so I was representing and it was blue. But that's amazing. That's some OG hockey stuff, like 93, repping the Leafs. I was repping the Leafs. I was repping the Penguins. I was repping the Oilers. The, everybody. I was the first rapper to wear hockey jerseys in videos, on stage, everywhere I went. That was my look, you know what I'm saying? Because I was trying to do something that was different. And I respected hockey because hockey is a tough sport. And it takes a real man to play hockey. So I was trying to be different by doing that. Snoop Doggy Dog, what about the movie Black Ice, Willie O'Ree, that hockey movie? I really wanted to do that movie. I hope they do it, man. Willie O'Ree, I had a chance to meet him, man. He, he's a great guy, you know what I'm saying, and very in-depth. He was one of the greatest guys to ever slide across that ice, you know what I'm saying? He paved the way for a lot of these, you know, hockey players that's doing what they're doing. So I really would like to see that story come to life. Snoop, one of the times I was trying to talk to you is when you were doing Hockey Night in Canada. I was trying to get down to L.A., but you were busy doing Hockey Night in Canada. What do you remember about that? You rapped on Hockey Night in Canada to Bob Cole. I mean, that's what it's all about, man. I mean, Snoop Dogg is, is an international individual who loves people, and people love Snoop Dogg for who he is. I can connect and, and communicate with any world or any realm of people, and hockey is a great sport, and I fell in love with it, and once I fell in love with it, I started to get more into it, so whenever they called on me to do things like interviews on Hockey Night, why not? 
And you did that rap to Bob Cole, which was great. Like, that's the equivalent of being like a Monday night football. That's big hockey night in Canada. Yes, sir. I mean, that's what I do. You know what I'm saying? I'm big Snoop Dogg. And Snoop Dogg, you have the song called Serial Killer. Serial Killer. And speaking of Serial Killer, the song, you mentioned Watts in it. What can you tell the people about the Watts Prophets and their record? Wow. You got the Watts Prophets album? This is heavy. This record right here was a lot of talk, and they did a lot of talking but the way they talked over the music and the things that they said and just uh in 1971 too like rapping black in a white world yeah they was going hard i remember the song hello niggas that was a hell of a song on there you know what i'm saying it was just they had a hell of a bass sound to it the piano i mean it was just it, it symbolized what we were going through in america as african americans at the time and this was a very very strong record and i'm glad that you brought this Nora, because this is a piece of history that people need to know about and DJ Quick has sampled it too. Have you ever thought of sampling it or anything like that? I don't have the record. Maybe if I had the record, I could sample it. That's for you, Snoop Doggy Dog. Oh, Lord, I appreciate it. Now I can't sample it. Speaking of dirty things, Snoop Doggy Dog, Blowfly, you finally met him. Years ago, here at the Hotel in 2002, I showed you my Blowfly record, which you took. I had to take it because, I mean, Blowfly, Clarence Reed is a favorite of mine, and he's been in my household since I was a kid, so I finally fucking met him. You know, via you putting me back in the world of loving Blowfly again. I met Tom, Uncle Tom, his drummer. And um, he came to my show and he hung out with me for about four or five hours. And we just had a great time. He talked to me, he rapped to me, he talked shit about everybody that was with me. I mean, he was just the guy that I thought he was. Snoop Doggy Dog, what can you tell the people about this VHS cassette right here? I was curious, did you put this out? Oh my, Kev. This is what the fuck I've been trying to find. My Smoke Fest Volume 1. This is the first one I ever put out, cuz. Look, this is the first one that I put out. This is my first movie that I directed, put up the money for, shot it. See what it says on the back? Writer, director, and executive producer, Snoop Doggy Dog. You don't even have a copy yourself? No, I don't. I did this with Donald, I did this with Donald Randall, who was Dolomite's Rudy Ray Moore's manager at the time when he was alive now check out where i got this right there you took the wrapping away this is quite amazing look where it started it started here it's at, no it started at 50 Our records for 14.95 and it ended up at 50 cent at lily's book in at, vancouver went to 50 i thought it was anything 50 cents for your actual vhs that's dope so would you like this too snoop doggy dog I'd gladly give you a dollar for it Wow, okay, we'll do that then. Compensated for your time and your troubles. I've been looking for this shit, homie, on some real shit. I've really been trying to find. This is my first one. I found uh, volume two. They got volume two. You can get that anywhere. This shit right here is rare. This is the one where I directed it. I shot it. I got in trouble behind this shit, too. There's some shit on there that's raw and cut. And now it's back in your hands for nobody to see ever again. Right, Snoop? No, I bought Snoop, do you know the band The Gourds at all? They have a song called Gin and Juice. Do you know the band The Gourds? I know The Gourds. They redid my shit. They own some country shit, and they hard in the motherfucker. I fucks with them. I like them. They redid my shit on the country with a, with a twist on it. Well, anything else you want to add to the people out there at all, Snoop Doggy Dog? I just want to say to all the people in Vancouver, B.C., I love and appreciate y'all for supporting me for so long and just always being a, you know, a, a place of relaxation for myself and a a comfort zone whenever I want to get away and just want to be to myself and enjoy some good BC bud. Vancouver is always the place to be. And also, I'm happy that I was able to help you out and get that VHS for you. My friend Leora actually found the VHS, the Smoke Fest VHS. Hey, Leora, good looking out. You's a bad motherfucker for that, man. I've been really trying to find it. I actually went on eBay and tried to buy the shit from a motherfucker that was going to sell it to me for like $40. And I'm glad I bought it for a dollar. Leora, you's a real motherfucker. And also the Watts Profits, too. I'm glad you enjoyed that. Now, that's heavy. Be on the look for, now, that's going to be on my next album. You're going to hear some of that, so I'm going to have to give you a shout-out on my next album. So look on the credits on the back. A double shout-out to my nephew from Vancouver. You know what I'm saying? The Canuck, Mr. Nard, Stay Hard, Ward. Well, thanks so much, Snoop. Keep on rocking in the free world, and do do the loot do 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 Rock out with your cock out.